when you're looking down into the batteries, it's kind of hard to tell how deep it is for the water. Sometimes while I'm looking down in there, I'll kind of puff a breath down at the uh, down into it so I can see a little wrinkle in the water so I can tell how far it is. But um, there's been some confusion about how far to fill this up. On the newest instructions on that are, are glued on a card on the battery box, it says a half inch below the liner, which the half inch below the liner, and we've cut this battery in half so we can, it can show what we're talking about. Half inch below the liner is not a half inch below the top, like here. You know, half inch below this edge to here. We're talking about below the liner, which is this piece that's hanging down, this plastic piece, which you can see looking through here. So we're talking about the water level needs to be a half inch below that plastic liner and that's right about here. If you ever see the acid up into this plastic liner, make sure that you don't add any more to it. If you get way up here, just let it work its way down and just give you a better idea of what we're trying to do. All we're trying to do within the month, because remember, we're supposed to be checking the water levels monthly. If you don't, you're eventually going to end up with problems. So, so if we stay at this level, we have almost an inch of acid on top of the lead. The goal is to have enough in here to make sure that we don't run out before the end of the month. Not, the goal is not to fill up the whole battery to the top. Okay. So remember, fill the batteries up to about on this marker, no higher and do it on a monthly